me tell you about a dilemma I had today. I and my friend Keith were going to go fishing. And I thought it would be great to take along a little single malt and have a sip here and there out of a flask while we did some fishing. We weren't going to drive because our friend Roger was going to drop us off in his old beat up uh, rusty Citroen from like the 1970s. But we were going to do some fishing and then after we were going to call Roger and tell him to pick us up. Apparently he doesn't fish, he only cooks. So before I went fishing today, I was thinking, I gotta buy a single malt that is not too expensive and not too complex because, you know, it's a pastime. I want to relax. I want to chill out and uh, get away from the smartphone and the noise and the chatter of the city. And so I don't want a whiskey that's going to make me think, gee, I should be appreciating this. I should be writing notes about it. I should be paying attention to it. I want a whiskey that I can just kind of cast my uh, line into the water and hope I strike a bass. And so when I was at the liquor store, the whiskey that came to mind was probably the cheapest single malt available. There were a couple. There was Elber, Aberfeldy, uh, 12, Aberlore, uh, and then there was also this one, Old Pulteney. Now, Old Pulteney is not a favorite of mine. I reviewed it a few years ago, and I didn't really like it. I think I called it bilge water or seawater in the bottom of somebody's canoe. Maybe I wasn't too kind. But today, I wanted to just chill out, do some fishing on a kind of a sunny, cloudy afternoon with a good friend of mine, and maybe we could catch something. And if we didn't, not the end of the world. And so here we are with Old Pulley. The packaging is pretty sturdy. Metal cap, top. Here's the bottle. And you know, uh, I had a reader write in to me and say, Jason, what do, you, what do you do with the packaging? Do you throw it away after you buy a bottle of whiskey? And my answer is absolutely not. You'd be surprised. Uh, you keep your whiskey in your packaging because you might knock it off a shelf by accident and it'll protect it from breaking, even though I find whiskey bottles to be pretty sturdy. Old Pulteney is a single malt from a distillery that's located in the town of Wick, or actually Wick is a port, uh, located in the most northerly uh, location in Scotland, mainland Scotland, for a distillery. And Wick was a uh, seafaring port uh, for uh, herring. They used to do fishing for herring there. And it was only accessible by sea. And I think the old Pulteney distillery was founded in 1826? 1826, I think that's what it was. And so it's got a long history. It's not a whiskey that enjoys, I think a lot of the critics like it, but I think the ordinary person, the consumer of Scotch whiskey, doesn't, Old Pulteney is not number one on our list. It's not even in the top 10. It's actually a cheap whiskey, often on discount, and in the past, I found it to be quite mediocre at best. But I was going fishing, and I wanted something that wouldn't distract from the fishing, but would kind of complement it. Uh, I should say a little word about the format. The, the bottle is a 700 milliliter bottle. The alcohol by volume is 40%. Uh, there is some coloring in this. E150A. And it's chill filtered for those purists who that kind of thing matters to. And now I th and it's matured exclusively in ex bourbon casks. So if you're a sherry fiend, look elsewhere. On the nose, it's definitely got some maritime notes, which I thought would go well with fishing. It's got a restrained sweetness. I think rainfall. There's a slight smoky note to it, but overall, it's um, it's a subtle nose on it. It's not bad. It's not offensive, but it's not incredible.
what I taste is salty maritime air, the foaming sea, lemon rind, rosewood, a little bit of um, cranberry, ocean spray, cranberry cocktail. This is not aged in ex sherry casks, but there's a little kind of a, a little bit of a red fruit note to it. Lemon, lemon rind, oak, as I said before. The finish is short, but you're left with mackerel, bacon, kippers, but a bit of rhubarb in there, ginger and lemon. The body is light, a slight oily note. It's not a whiskey that I would describe as complex. For the price, it's fair value for money. But it's not incredible by any means. And so when we went fishing today, it worked perfectly. Complemented our activity, didn't distract from it. The maritime taste really went well with the activity we were doing. And the key to Old Pulteney is the price. If you get it cheap, it's good stuff. If you pay too much, it's not. And I don't think you can say that of any single malt. There's some single malts that are just so great that you will pay too much for it. And deep down you'll go, it was worth it. This whiskey in California a couple of years ago, I recall, was like $26 a steal. Uh, today, the prices have drifted up a bit, but it's still cheap. It's still one of the cheapest single malts you're going to buy. And if you're doing a barbecue, or if you're going fishing, or you're just spending some time in front of the telly, Old Pulteney works. Cheers.